Folks, here's what happened the other day. Osama bin Laden called an emergency meeting of the Finance Committee. He decided to cut the Taliban funding in half, this is true, to support the holy war in Iraq. That had to be a tough meeting for him, huh? He's like, uh, okay, fellas, we're all feeling the pinch. It's the economy. So uh, for now, no more Toyota Land Cruisers. Uh, Suzuki makes a good all-terrain vehicle. It's moderately priced. I have a card from an infidel named Don Gresto uh, from a place in Ohio known as Mid-State Suzuki. And uh, he's telling me he can get us 300 for the same price we'd have to pay for 240 Land Cruisers. He said he's going to the wall for us on this one, and his boss would kill him if he finds out. So this is a man of honor who's prepared even to sacrifice his life to give us the best possible deal. I think we owe him our loyalty if we pass the routine credit check at a time like this. You can count your real friends on one hand, which is a necessity for most of us, but what I'm, uh, what I'm saying is the days of the fighting off the rifles every time we drive into Kandahar are over. Just uh, hold the rifles up and say something that sounds like a violent Quran quote. You know, the drill, it'll have the same effect if you commit, you know. Uh, okay, let's begin this now. <laughs> has ordered the Al-Qaeda network to shift its operation to Iraq because of great opportunities to kill Americans and their allies there, as you said. So what do you think of this strategy in general, Goomba? Uh, you know, I'm surprised they moved to Iraq. I didn't even know they got thrown out of France. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I guess it's good business sense to get closer to your target. He is cutting down his expenses and, uh, you know, right. I mean, but eventually he will run out of suicide bombers. There's only a limited amount of those made. Yeah, well, that's, you're th you don't think he will run out, do you? No, you can't run out of suicide. They keep breeding these little bastards every five seconds. <laughs> they, they're birthing um, little bombs, man. That's what they're doing over there. Yeah. And that's a pro it's not the problem where he's going. The problem is that we're not catching him. That's what we should do. We should just... You know what, my happy... Let me just stop for one second. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Right. It's the first time any idiot has ever said that without an applause break. It had to be him. <laughs> the whole, the, uh, he's a hilarious comedian, first of all. The worst, shut up. The worst comedians in the world can say that and get an applause break, yet you can't, and you're waiting for it, stupid. No, no. I heard that you. voice. No. First thing we got to do is catch him. Yeah. Like, we said that on September 12th. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm yeah. Watch that tape tonight. Why don't you write off. a new feeling? Boss, you to the same that. emotions from early 80s. Will oh. you shut the hell up? Oh. You should have left well, it. Now yeah, look, no, um, Dr. Reedy. Yeah, All right, so what do you guys think? Anybody have anything to say about Osama? You think uh, he was kind of a sex symbol for a while? Oh, oh. come on, man. You see how he's, he's a, I mean, look, he's a murderer, but he was a smooth guy. That's just like, look, uh, we know how awful Hitler was, but, the, you know, his mustache was interesting. And you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Osama got this. I follow him too. You know. I said, right <laughs> and he's a millionaire. And he's six foot six. Come on, he could probably sleep with a couple of women in here right now. Yeah, you'd but, follow him if he was dragging a stake. <laughs> Anything, what do you I, think? I think he's just moved by trying to move a war around. He's like, okay, we're just going to move it over to Iraq now. I mean, that doesn't do anything. I mean, it's like in Vietnam. It's like, what if they go, like, okay, the war is getting too crazy here. We're going to move it over to Cambodia. Yeah. What now? That worked out well. What, 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 would, uh, right? what would your mother say about this? Whoa. <laughs> Did you just do uh, your hot Korean mama <laughs> as Osama Bin Laden? Hot Korean is Vietnamese. No, say Vietnamese. last comic standard. No, Shut yeah. up, Dad. He was doing, the way I was playing, he was doing Paul Potts, yeah. moving the wall, right? Paul Potts is your mama, mama, mama from Last Comic Stand. Can he do the rest of the show hiding behind a tree, please? <laughs> no, no, that's racist, in the tunnel. Please. My mom was like, okay, you know, no. Rich Boss, my mom was like, you know, Rich Boss, he spent the whole show, he ironed stuff all the time, but he never ironed the wrinkles oh. around his eyes. Oh. Oh. And he does it, mother, say, mother. Shut up. Don't you say, mother, that made Shut that necklace you wear? <laughs> all right, look, what about this? Oh. Germany, France, and Canada are angered by the Pentagon's decision to cut them out of that $18 billion worth of uh, contracts. So uh, here's what President Bush had to say about this. Ready? It's very simple. Our people risk their lives. Friendly coalition folks risk their lives. And therefore, the contract is going to reflect that. That's what the U.S. taxpayers expect. <laughs> what? Just as I stink as an impressionist? Who cares? <laughs> um, what do you think, Patrice? Should rebuilding contracts be used to help those who help us? It, look. First of all, can this goofy country just give us the truth? I think we can handle it. Just have him say, I'm giving all the jobs to my friends. Yeah. Why should we give a, why should there be some kind of explanation? That was what he was looking for. No, 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 no. Save that.
for boss at some point. He's gonna need. <laughs> He's just giving it to his friends. Why don't you just say that? He's just giving it to his buddies. So what if he if we got control? Is is I don't I don't know what it's called nepotism, but it's called something. And and he's giving it to his boys. You get look. The reason people hate this show so much is because you got to hit your boys working right. and or the other comics who think they're funnier, but you got exactly, your boys working. Stupid. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, I'll tell you exactly what it is. You can't come out of the bathroom after a ball fight and ask your friend to buy you a drink. I know that's good old homespun logic. <laughs> well, that was a good one. You know how to make everybody your happy. Buddies. Here's, how, your buddies. You know, here's how you make them all happy. I like you the get, fact that this creep had to like put this weird edge by going, the reason people... Not the people, when I say shut people, up. I meant the other, these yeah. other goofy shut comics. So. Yeah. First of all, Sorry, you no didn't say that up front. So I you want the mistake. audience to know about the little infighting in the comedy scene. Second yeah. of all, do I it's even have to know that there's a couple of bitter idiots out there that want to be... Oh, shut like, up, Colin. You do know. Stop <laughs> trying to act like you're innocent. <laughs> and, and, you know they can't stand This man is outrageous. Every time you talk with that shirt, you should go, dun, 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 dun. Now listen. Okay. That's an old commercial. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Here's the thing. <laughs> what? Here's the thing. How wait, wait. Explain to us what song that was so we don't have a nice yeah. laugh. That was from the old uh, Marlboro commercials. Oh, it's like oh, a marble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Like, Jesus, if you got to explain yeah, the mistake. Tw- exactly. They're 20 years old, you're still <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> Only me and you know it. I know. All right, look. All right, How about s- this? Go ahead. You yeah. want to solve this problem over there? <laughs> yes. No, I'm serious. What do you do? You get France, <laughs> Germany, and Canada <laughs> okay. to attack Syria and All then right. let them rebuild Syria. There you have it. Everybody's happy now. You see what I mean? It's not funny. It's just uh. uh first of all, where the where the hell where the hell is Germany? I said. <laughs> I said. Boy, that thing, you, re- you really did win that show. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's, uh, let's talk about the controversy. Okay. Now. Well, people are paying me. Now, Baby Boy recently performed at the University of California and outraged some students who claimed that his ethnic and cultural material was offensive. And even the other day, they were complaining on uh, the how do you think ethnic humor is in bad taste. That's true. How about no more observations about anything that dis- is distinct or unique about any culture or race? Celebrating diversity is wrong, apparently. You know what? All comedy should be like the gap. Generic, safe, uncomplicated. <laughs> All right, here's, let's take a look at one of Dad Fan's performances. <laughs> My mom's like, that's not that funny. You want to make fun of us? You want to make fun of Asian time? You want to be a smuck, Ellie? It's like, Mom, chill out. I know it's you. You don't tell me what to chew. I chew what I chew you. <laughs> now, Dad Fan, well, who was complaining about this? Was it Asians or other people? I what have do you no idea. idea. So, this is the, the deal. People, the people that paid them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, he needed, he needed one. Now go ahead. <laughs> Here's the deal. I, I spent an hour and a half afterwards signing autographs, and 90% Asian students yeah. were, so, were, were in line. So and don't I, you think ethnic, if, if an accent is, isn't comedy about heightening <laughs> or uh, whatever they call or accents or differences too, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the culture that I grew up in. My family has accents, yeah. you know? I mean, if black comics make fun of, you know, their own culture or race, They don't whatever. make fun of all culture, but go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not or, you know, show. Oh, if you see like Rich Voss, you do some Jewish jokes, right? I do maybe one. I, I usually talk about my life. Uh, you know, I talk about my Vietnamese uh, mother a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you know, like, if, 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 if Asians do it, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, this guy he's crazy. You know, like I mean, I mean we're just this is what we do. You know, right. what I mean? we're basing it on the air. I mean, the stereotypes are part of the. Go ahead, fellas. Well, I'm just saying, I read that article that complained about him. The thing that pissed me off is that they referred to him in the article as a comic. And I was really upset. <laughs> you know, now, all I'm saying is that it's 514 and that fan got one more minute left on his fame. So I think that he should go. Oh, oh. Now, wait, don't you have a big What's development deal? Uh, you know, sorry, don't you have a big development deal for winning that thing? Yeah, we're working on a sitcom. Just tell me who the showrunner is, and I'm telling you what's, how it's going to go. It's a producer. Everybody loves Raymond. Yeah, he's doing a sitcom yeah. with yeah, Jay Yeah, you know what? Parker. Everybody's a producer. Is it Mike Royce, Rosenthal, or the other? <laughs> <laughs> don't force him to lose his job already! Sorry, Doc. Making a main you know Jews? You're right. Don't answer me. Yeah. <laughs> he's right. Don't name any Jews. It's called the only Jew love- you can name with no influences. <laughs> right. Everybody loves that. <laughs> 
Everybody loves Dad Fair's mother. I didn't even think of All right. Wait, oh, suppose you, sorry, you're right. I shouldn't want to mess with the career. You guys are enhancing it so much. <laughs> Let's do it. The NFL. The NFL, John, now you played, uh, you went to camp, what happened? Yeah, the NFL is now requiring teams to interview at least one minority coaching candidate for each vacancy. Here's the chart. Yeah. Oh, do you know how much I hate putting up a chart? Can't it just come out? What is it, 1950, I gotta pick up the charts? And... Yeah. Every other show, they come out of the ground and shit. look at this. Yeah. All right. So what's the story? Why don't we show the graph where how many white CEOs are working at Dev Jam? Okay, how about that one? Shut that! What? No, 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 no. Listen, what are you talking about? How, how many white people are involved in that kind of stuff? Because it's know their what? business. Boss. What's that? Boss. It's their business. The owners decided this. Boss. This is an open. This is a Boss, capitalist have... country. Anybody you can hire. The owners you are. decided this rule. Boss. The owners. Wait. Yeah, and listen, we can look at you. There's a. When it comes to this kind of thing, there's a lot of white people smarter that we could talk, have talked for. <laughs> All right. Now, John, <laughs> tell us about the NFL. Well, first of all, Colin, I don't think any of the coaches should be hired. I think they should be elected. Okay. okay. They're elected by the fans. Let them run for the coaching job. Let them speak their platform, their references, their endorsements, and let them get elected to a four-year term. They can be impeached. <laughs> better than what happens now when you solve the problem. You can either do that or you, or you just make one simple hire. You make Al Sharpton the commissioner. <laughs> I don't think you should. Look, you should have Then Patrice will get a job. <laughs> Look. <laughs> you, 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 you. I don't want to mess with Goomba. He's a made dude, and I'm getting yeah. a little nervous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, first of all, I like to thank Goomba for wearing his football pants to the show. <laughs> You know it's true. Like it's that fans, it's Vietnam is very big. Why Tell them about have, football. Uh, why don't we just have like Vietnamese coaches? That's right in the middle, and we just like dig tunnels across the field underneath, and it would uh, <laughs> we steal the playbook. Yeah? We got the book here. We have the book for you. All right. That's right why here we go. First of all, just get us some. Dad, now what? listen to me. <laughs> first of all, is he how come, a, Does he have a, a microchip that says do a, a <laughs> damn goofy Vietnamese voice every five minutes? <laughs> you don't understand. You know that fan in Vietnamese. That means not funny. Oh. <laughs> Please unplug yourself from the Vietnamese matrix for five minutes, please. <laughs> All right. A dime is forever, folks. A commercial is 30 seconds. Hey. <laughs> folks, first of all, let me say one thing. Goomba is not uh, involved with the mob. I'm not saying he doesn't have a couple of trucks. But, uh, folks, in my early days as the dad fan of the Irish, I too caught heat for making fun of my own people. <laughs> Tell us one awful truth about your ethnicity. Sorry, with go. Sorry, with go. Bye. You know, Colin, the awful truth about being Italian is that we never, ever want to leave our mother for another woman. Another woman will never cook like my mother. I will never trust another woman like my mother. I will never love another woman like my mother. I will stay home in my room that I was born in until the last minute possible. So ladies, if you're dating an Italian man, here's some advice. Shut up, take your clothes off, and turn on a Yankee game. <laughs> Oh, Patrice O'Neal. <laughs> Look, every black person has a very good white friend that we keep tucked away somewhere. <laughs> and that person always asks, why haven't I met any of your other friends yet? <laughs> well, why you think, only white friend? I got to go back home. <laughs> <laughs> and when we wear sports jerseys, we don't really necessarily like that team that we're wearing. It's just that the colors go nicely with my rims. And, <laughs> and we all think OJ did it. But you know how much an OJ Simpson throwback is? It's off the hook. So that's why. All right, thank you. You mean, let's see if we can get through this without heckling this poor see? kid. You want to know this? That's <laughs> bad. And do it without doing your mama's Vietnamese voice. All right. She's right. Do it as your dad. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it. Do it. Do it. No. as dad. Do it. Man. But do like a German Introducing accent. Introducing dad. Like dad. Do it. All right. Do it like a French accent in there. No, no. Do a French accent. Come on. It'll be better. Do it. Do it as Miss Saigon. <laughs> you want to get prove to these guys you got the chops? Don't worry. Do it. It'll work. Do you want to know the awful truth about Asians? Go to any casino anywhere in the United States, and all the conservative Asians that you see at the dry cleaners and liquor stores and nail salons are standing at the tables, the crap tables, and pie guys tables and they're like, ho oh, ho ho, that's it, we gambled out of house. <laughs> Here we go. We win. My son no go today. You see LA. And said, Nico 
host of Compton Community College, <laughs> where we will serve french fries for my son. <laughs> oh, last night we lost $500, but that won't happen again until tomorrow night. Yes! Oh, yes. Oh, nice. All right. That was nice. And you know, even though it was French, it was a little bit almost like a martial arts. <laughs> I see. That was a good one. Boss, here are some of the things people don't know about Jews. We don't run the country. There are only three and a half percent of us in the U.S. The WASPs run the show. Jewish doctors and scientists have cured more diseases in this world than anyone else. We have won more Nobel Prizes for medicine than anyone else. We have won more Nobel Peace Prizes than anyone else. Also, we helped start and finance the NAACP and march right alongside the Negroes during the 60s. <laughs> Most of all, God likes us the best, and we run Hollywood. Now, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, stop. Let him applaud. Let him applaud. Applaud. Wait. How about the fact that until we fix it, you spelled Nobel, N-O-B-L-E, Nobel, you stupid idiot. <laughs> You are the only Listen, dumb Jew I've ever met today. I never said no, he's, he's first not of all, he's not I never done. said I won one of those prizes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I well, guess that's the show. It was a big applause. <laughs> hey, it was a big applause. You want applause or laugh?